slider joints. When we create a slider joint, we're going to create a movement of components down a specified path. And the components essentially only translate uh, in one direction. So we only have one translation of our degrees of freedom. So this thing's going to translate through this slot. Okay? And so I'm going to go up to join, joint, excuse me, and then I'm going to go to slider. I'm going to pick this object here. I'm going to pick it on the top because it's got nice rounded fillets to run in the corners of the slot. So I'll pick on that. And then I'm going to come over here and pick on this particular uh, bottom of the T slot. I pick on there. It flips it around and it runs the animation of that. It runs the animation because I do have automatic playing on animate. I can always play that animation. right? I can set the gap between the two components if I like. Uh, and I can give it a name. And I can set an alignment up if it goes astray. It doesn't it doesn't go in uh, just the way we want it. We can realign it. I'll say OK. And now you can see that I have that object now uh, parked in here in this slot. And it is in a slider position, meaning it can only go and translate into one degree of uh, one trans, uh, excuse me, one translation degree of freedom. So it can only go in a linear fashion.